So this is the story of how anxiety and panic almost claimed my life. That's all I ask you do. Don't erase. I want you to clearly understand that panic and fear and anxiety can come from many different things. It can come from medications, it can come from a chemical imbalance, it can come from just your mind telling you something is happening when in reality it isn't. I wasn't always the bad guy. So it all started when. I was in my car driving on my way to a neurosurgeon. The thing is with my low spine, I have what is called a potential case of quadra equina, which means in reality, I could go paralyzed or lose bowel or bladder control because of the herniations in my low spine. Now, I was on a medication called prednisone. The thing with prednisone is that this drug can really mess you up, especially if your cortisol levels are extremely high. Now, my cortisol levels, because of the stress of my low spine, my shoulder, and my surgery for my sinuses, and all these things going on, it was extremely high. And well, here goes the reaction. I try and take a deep breath. Can't catch one. I try and take another deep breath. I can't catch one. I take another one. I'm like, Brennan, calm down. Take another one, can't catch one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And soon enough, I'm hyperventilating, trying to breathe, starting to get lightheaded. And this is when all hell breaks loose. My anxiety, everything that I've trained for so many years to handle and be okay with and control my mind, for some reason, I can't. And as I'm hyperventilating and I'm driving, everything starts getting tingly. I start seeing a tunnel vision. It's getting dark, it's getting darker and darker. And I'm starting to weave a little bit in my lane. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I almost pass out. I snap right out of it. Thankfully, I make it to the neurosurgeon without a scratch, but I get in there and he says, you're having a lot of panic. What are, what are you taking? And I tell him prednisone. He said, ah, that's what's doing it for you. And for the next six hours, the next six hours, I would try and take a deep breath, but could not. It was one of the worst experiences I have ever had. And I have had plenty of panic attacks and anxiety attacks when I was more of a kid and in my early teens. I was not expecting that. I was not even close to right now expecting something that would run me off the road because I couldn't breathe. Something that would create so much pain hours later and two days later that my lungs, my throat and everything felt so locked up that every single deep breath I would take or try to take would be so painful. exactly am I explaining my story to you? Well, it's pretty simple. I've had many attacks. I've had a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of things that I've had to overcome. And as they progressed and as they were happening for the six hours where I was trying to do that for six hours, I still in my mind told myself it's going to be okay. Go to the ER. No, 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 no. It's going to be okay. You're, you're going to die. No, no, no. You're going to be okay. As I'm driving about to pass out, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Wake up. Pull over. The truth of the matter is anxiety is real. And stress can build up and cause so many different kind of things, but also medication and traumatic events. And what I made this video for is so that you know how to cope with it and, and just understand that it's going to be all good. It's going to be okay. There's a reason why I tatted this on my wrist. It's because it's so, so important in my life and it needs to be important in your life. So if you are suicidal or you have a friend that is suicidal, go ahead and look in the description box. There's somebody that you can call. Make sure you call that number and trust them. Trust me. I would never put you in a situation that I know would work against you. Always remember and always have faith. You are going to be okay. Keep on grinding. Put a smile on your face. I'll see you soon.